it. There you go. And now you are funny, too. <laughs> Can I say that, please? Yes, of course. Yes, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. Yes and no. He'll tell you the questions later. I've got to go. <laughs> I was going to ask about you, but why you called yourself a wild and crazy guy? In what way? Well, does this turn or what? No, you locked it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can't turn them. Hi, Clive. Hi. Hi, Michael. Hi. Um, Would you like my chair? Can I take these off? What? Would you be happy with a curvy chair? A curvy chair? Yeah, a swingy One chair. This no, this is fine. Are you sure? Yeah, really. All right. God damn. <laughs> um, actually, I think it's important to, uh, you know, like I said in the spot, the film spot you saw, to be uh, wild and crazy on stage and then to keep kind of a perspective and keep your life... Get down off the bed! Uh, <laughs> a quiet sort of life going and not be always on because I think that... I told you to get down off the bed! Who the hell are they talking to? Uh, this is just a service I do. Um, you know, when people are out at night, like when the show comes on, there are animals, cats and dogs. <laughs> They like to get on the bed and watch television. Uh -huh. This is just a service I do, and it keeps the animals off the bed, because you get a lot of, <laughs> of fur on there. <laughs> because a lot of these animals, you know, are, are like cats. They can shed a lot, and uh, you have to give them baths. I, I had always heard that you weren't supposed to give cats baths, but this is interesting. My cat came in the other day, and he was really dirty. He'd been out playing and joking around, and he came in, and I decided to give him a bath. And it was great. He loved it. He sat there. He enjoyed it. It was fun for me, and fur would stick to my tongue, but... <laughs> now, you've been amazingly successful. Arrow through the knee. <laughs> You've been amazingly successful, as I said in the introduction. In well, New thank York. you. <laughs> thank you very much. What has success meant to you, Mr. Money? Well, I've, uh, gee, one thing you're able to buy, the things you've always wanted, but as long as you keep it within reason, I'd say. Like what? Well, I bought a fur sink. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, got an electric dog polisher. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Gasoline-powered turtleneck sweater. 